I think I was maybe like 11 or 12 watching. And even then I was like, he's so bad. And like, he's gone down in history as like one of the worst. <laughs> what was your most embarrassing moment on the dance floor? Well, this one was pretty public. So I feel like anybody could guess what it was. It's definitely when I farted in my partner's face um, in rehearsal and they played the footage on TV and it was news headlines all the next day, like literally everywhere on ESPN, all the things. Um, it was David Ross. He was such a champ. He handled it really well. And yeah, that was probably my, well, no, that was 100% my most embarrassing moment on stage. And I think I'll never live that one down. I do remember that. I do. <laughs> that was a classic. I feel like it's like, oh yeah, that happened. Like I, I'm like, Lindsay Arnold fart girl like that's me so it's fine but it's, it's good we just roll with it um which partner surprised you the most Ooh, probably David Ross honestly I think he came in he had no experience and not just no experience but like he also was not very coordinated to begin with <laughs> and that's like that's fine that's expected and he knew it which was the best part about him is like he knew that he wasn't a great dancer but he gave it his all every single week we got second place like if you had asked me week one if we'd even make it halfway through the competition i i don't think i could have given like a comment like yeah but he just gave it his all every single week he was the most genuine kind ever and people fell in love and that was like the one of the most fun seasons for me just like seeing that you like hard work and being a good person can truly like get you really far in life. And that was so true for David. And he really surprised me because by the end of it, like he did get significantly, significantly better. Like, of course, he didn't become like a professional dancer, but it was really cool to see his growth progress and just see how like his storyline kind of happened on the show. Definitely. Which judge intimidated you the most? Uh, I feel like they all have at different moments. Like I feel like every season, one of the judges kind of picks like that they're going to be a little bit harder on you that season. Does that make sense? Like, like all, every season I'm like, oh, it's Carrie Ann this season. She's a little bit tough on us. Mm -hmm. I feel like Len is always a little bit intimidating just because he's he's usually the one to call out the pros like, oh, there wasn't enough content. There wasn't enough of this. So I feel like as a pro, you're like, oh, Len, please just like approve of what I'm doing. So he is definitely intimidating. <laughs> I love it. Um, which was the best celeb dancer of all time, in your opinion? Ooh, well, I'm going to have to pick Jordan Fisher. He was my partner. I think he was incredible. He was so well-rounded. He came in with a little bit of a dance background, but nothing in Latin or ballroom. And like Charlie, he really like dove into every single dance. Like when I tell you this guy, Jordan asked so many questions. He wanted to know everything. And I loved it. Like as a teacher, that is the best thing ever. And then he would execute it so well. He's a performer, entertainer. And then he also was really good at grasping the, the technique. So that would be my answer. I love it. Who maybe wasn't the best celeb dancer of all time? <laughs> oh, of all time, I mean, I remember watching the show when I was little and Master P was on the show. Master P or Mr. P? It's <laughs> Master P, P, right? Uh-huh. He was so bad. Like, I think I was maybe like 11 or 12 watching. And even then I was like, he's so bad. And like, he's gone down in history as like one of the worst. <laughs> so I would say he, yeah, he really, I think he takes the cake there. I feel like every uh, pro dancer I've asked that question to, they all say Master P. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like he's gotten the lowest scores ever on the show. So it's got to be him. And then finally, which partner do you miss the most? Oh my gosh. I miss all of them. Like genuinely, I am so grateful that every partner I've had, I've formed a genuine relationship with them. Like something that like we still communicate, they still congratulate me on things and vice versa. Um, someone that I had a lot of fun with was I had so much fun with Jordan. Um, he just had his baby this past summer and I miss him so much. Like we don't get to see each other as often, which is a bummer when I was out in LA a lot more and he was living there. Like, I feel like we'd meet up every once in a while, but I haven't seen him in a while and I haven't gotten to meet his baby. So I really, really miss him. And I hope that we get together soon and like get to have our babies meet and everything. Definitely lots of play dates in the future.